My name is Dr Marguerite Nyan and I'm a lecturer in environmental engineering at University College Cork and I'm also a visiting scientist at Harvard University in Boston. I'm a funded investigator at the Marai Research Centre within the Environmental Research Institute at University College Cork and I'm a member of the Future Earth Ireland National Committee. I specialise in urban environmental engineering and public health and the major aim of my work is to develop intelligent solutions for climate friendly, sustainable, healthy and livable cities for the future. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the first Earth Day and this was started to inspire change for a more sustainable world. Part of my research looks at new and emerging technologies and their role in helping us to better understand cities and the urban environment so that we can then design our urban spaces in a more optimal way moving forward. The reason I'm so interested in cities is because they are complex places that evolve and respond to what's happening over time. They represent microcosms of global economic development and environmental change. They represent human and social development, and they've also gained a central role in relation to the discourse on sustainability in recent times. At the moment, more than half of our world's population lives in cities, and by 2050, almost 70% of the world's population will live in urban areas. And this urbanisation happening at an unprecedented rate brings many challenges and many opportunities related to urban sustainability. Challenges include increasing demand on urban systems such as transport, energy and water, and also emissions and air pollution, and these are both relevant to human health and climate change. But opportunities, on the other hand, may include the potential to invest in public and sustainable low carbon transport modes and infrastructure, and further investment in green space, parks and green infrastructure, and thus a more climate friendly and healthier city for everyone. An interesting point about cities is that although they only represent 2% of land cover, they represent 50% of our current global population, 70% of global energy consumption, 75% of greenhouse gas emissions and 80% of gross domestic product. So cities are engines of economic growth and make significant contributions to the creation of wealth, innovation and cultural advancement. But cities are also where we can focus on innovations contributing to the much needed transition to a sustainable and zero carbon society in the future. So it's no surprise, therefore, that we often hear that the battle for sustainability will be won or lost in urban areas. Since the first Earth Day 50 years ago, technology has become so prevalent in our lives. For example, we have gone from zero to six billion mobile phones worldwide. We often hear about the data revolution, and this data revolution refers to the exponential growth in data produced from mobile phones, sensors, and the Internet of Things. It includes data generated from GPS navigation systems, retail data, data collected through citizen science initiatives, social media, electronic health records, data from satellites, the list goes on and on. And along with the large volume, variety, velocity and veracity of data being generated today, we now have very sophisticated data processing techniques, supercomputing facilities, and we've made huge advances in artificial intelligence and machine learning methods. And these are used for processing and then gaining useful insights from these data. And with the emergence of urban big data and later artificial intelligence, we now have a really unique opportunity to develop, experiment and advance very innovative solutions for sustainable cities. And these solutions will respond to what's happening in our cities in real time. So my research group and I harness these new and emerging technologies. Uh, we study complex human environment and urban system interactions, and this allows us to understand and solve challenges related to urban transport, the environment, air pollution and health, challenges related to mitigation and adaptation to climate change and much broader urban sustainability goals as well. So thank you for watching this video. This is part of a series of expert reflections on creating sustainable futures and it's curated by Future Earth Ireland as part of Earth Week.